Java, you could have given me a hand to carry that cage full of chickens. <laughs> I'll no doubt stink of chicken for the next six months. Okay, let's forget about this and have a look around. Buen día, señora. Buen día, señor. Excuse me, madam. Do you know Professor Alexander? Of course I do. He lives near here. And he adores my fish taco speciality. Is the professor in? Can I come in? He doesn't get out much. The professor is very reserved. Hmm. Lately, he's out most of the time. I haven't heard the music he listens to for a long time. Hmm. I don't know where he goes. Oh, Dios mio! I'm a bit busy now. I've got to get dinner ready. Where can I find him? I don't know. I've got no idea. Try talking with that good for nothing. He's a good friend of the professor. Hmm. There's no guarantee he'll talk. It's unbearably hot here, don't you think? Right. Would you let him know that? He's not used to this hot climate. Here, near Veracruz. It's hard work even breathing in this heat. Hmm. As you can see, kids cool themselves in the jungle streams. Here, even the sea is hot. <laughs> what can you tell me about Professor Alexander? Well... In this neighborhood, we are very proud that such a famous archaeologist lives here. Ah, oh, yes. The professor is a very nice man. A real old-fashioned gentleman. I don't know what he did to get into trouble with Labacos, the center of archaeology. What was the professor's problem? He needed permits for some deep jungle research. At least, that's what he told me. I don't know. He was studying something very odd. No doubt antique. Labacos was doubtful. In the end, they gave him the permits, thanks to the insistence of a colleague, an American, and... Oil... Uh, Eulenberg! Professor Eulenberg! Yes, come to think of it, that was his name. Listen, what was Professor Eulenberg doing here? It's very important. Can you tell me anything? Santo Senor, I got to hurry. My son will be here soon. And I still haven't prepared the meal. I'm not sure. He was staying in a hotel. And then they headed for the jungle with some potters. I have no idea what happened. Is there anything else you could tell us about him? No, I have to hurry now. I don't know anything else. I'm sorry. I've got to go. What do you put in your fish tacos? Panoa fish tacos is a typical Mexican dish. I've changed the recipe a bit to make it unique. The secret is to replace the original fish with another one. Oh, Mios Dios, I'm talking too much and not working. I've got to get a move on. It's late. Who's that sitting there? It's Pedro. Pedro Rama, my husband. A lazy good for nothing. He should be working in the shop with my brother. But what does he do? He sits there all day. Ah, oh, Pedro! Pedro! <sighs> you see, what can I do? I should hang him up with these clothes. The sun would get his act together. Oh, Dios mío! Gracias, señora. Adiós. Hola, amigo. Hey, hey. Hola. Hey! Hey! Huh? Excuse me. You who? Huh? Huh? Oh, look, I can hear you. Sorry to trouble you. I thought you were sleeping. 
So if you see someone sleeping, you wake him up with all this noise, like a broken alarm clock. I'm terribly sorry. You're absolutely right. Is Professor Alexander here? He lives near here, but he's not here now. I need to speak to him. Where can I find him? It's not going to be easy. I don't think anyone knows where he is at the moment. I don't know either, and I am his best friend. Do you know how I can get in the professor's house? Right, you really are an intrusive pain in the neck. No, no. I've just got to find a way to get to the professor. I might find some clues in his house. I might know how to get in, but I've got other things to think about right now. You've already wasted enough of my precious time. Can you tell me anything about Professor Alexander? Hmm. Do you know him? Hmm. Who are you? What do you want from Alexander? I'm Professor Mister Martin Mister. I'm looking for Professor Alexander. It's a very important matter. Ah, <laughs> good. All right. Happy searching. Hmm. What are you doing here? Aren't you hot? I'm trying to figure out a problem. If you don't mind my asking, what's the problem? You are without doubt a noisy troublemaker. A few minutes ago, I was working peacefully, minding my own business. Then you arrived and you messed everything up. <laughs> However, after having worked for years in the same shop, our shop. My brother and I came to a breaking point. We just couldn't see eye to eye anymore. How come? We argued about the music in the shop. Hmm. You have no idea what it's like to work all day long, having to listen to a horrendous rhythm that is nothing like the music you'd normally listen to. Music that grates on you. Doesn't help customer relations. Do you get my drift? Hmm. More or less. Therefore, I am now sitting here looking for a solution. <laughs> Senor. What music do you like? Hi. Sissi, I love the rhythm of the samba. <laughs> no, my brother likes the tango. Oh, Senor, you've got to help me. Did you know Professor Eulenberg? The American scientist? Yes. Can you tell me anything? Let's see. Nothing. I don't know him. So how do you know he's American? <laughs> Just a lucky guess. <laughs> no, Alexander told me, but I, I never met Professor Eulenberg, and I've never seen him. And who are you? My name is Pedro Rama. I live here, and I have a news agents, hardware, and food store. My brother and I are partners, and I own fifty uh, percent, and the rest is my brother's. In practice, we decide everything together. I'll be leaving then. Goodbye. Salsa Mix Album.
Hey, what is this? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's a mix of tango and salsa, a one of a kind edition. It says mixed by DJ Mamon, a symphony of fusion that offers the best of tango and salsa together. Huh? Hey, amigos, you wanted to trick me. For what reason? This is just the cover. I can't see any record inside. You can have it back. I'm sorry. I hadn't realized. Oh, leave me alone. I'm even more depressed now. A wooden box with the lid nailed down. Hmm. By the size and sound, I guess these could be well-wrapped vinyl records. are joking with a broken man. I hope this isn't another joke. I don't think I could cope with it. Huh. Here it is. Well, I have to admit that this album could be the solution to all my problems. You are a nosy pain in the neck, but a clever one. Okay, okay, fine. Good, take this key and find the professor. And take my advice, don't cause any problems in his house. Ha! If you see him, tell him that next Saturday, Rosalita is preparing seafood tacos. Mmm, my mouth is watering at the thought. Hey, papers, dirty dishes, piles of books. It looks like my house before Diana moved in. Hmm. Let's see if I can find anything interesting.
at last, the route to the archaeological site is complete. Okay, Java, jump on. Careful. If the map's right, we'll hopefully find the archaeologist together with a few answers. Java, I told you to take it easy. Yes. Yes, you're right. I should have listened to you. Okay, okay, I get it. I know you've got the map. There's a possible route marked on it. But hey, Java! Unbelievable. An Aztec temple at the bottom of this creek. Look, Java. There's a field in this archaeological site. Here we are. Looks like there's some activity going on here. Professor! Professor! Professor Alexander! I hope he hasn't left. Professor Uben, Uben Alexander. Professor Alexander, I presume. You presume well. I, on the other hand, have absolutely no idea who you are. I'm Professor Martin Mister. Do you know you're disturbing the peace, Professor Mister, of these ancient ruins? You should have more respect. We have thousands of years of history here. Tell me, what brings you here? It's a long story, I'm afraid. Mm. Professor Eulenberg is dead. No, that's not possible. I heard from him a few days ago. Don't talk nonsense. I'm terribly sorry. I've had enough of these games. You are Inspector Lavakos. You'd like to know how the inquiry is going. No, Professor Alexander. I'm telling you the truth. Professor Uben, for you. How can I convince you? Do I look like a Mexican inspector? Professor Eulenberg has been murdered, and I'm here to investigate. I'm working for the police at Professor Eulenberg's villa. I found your address. It was impossible to contact you, so I thought I'd come and find you instead. Go away! Whoever you are, you have no reason to be here. There are things that you don't know about. Hmm. Things that not many people understand. Listen to me just for a second. I already told you to leave! Why did Professor Eulenberg make me come here? And what about the mysterious parcels? What was he doing here in Mexico? Goodbye, Professor Mister. If that is really your name. I have no intention of listening to you any further. You don't believe me? Leave immediately! And only come back if you can prove who you are. I'd better go and find a way of getting people to believe me.
a shame. They dug out an important finding, a small wooden statuette. It's uncanny. It looks just like an Italian writer. Mr. Castelli. Alfredo Castelli. Hmm, how did this get here? It must be a coincidence. Got everything, Java. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do for now. 